It's Friday. Do you know where your IT pros are? We don't. It's Patch and Switch. And now, two guys whose holiday wrapping looks just like the wiring in their wiring closets. Here they are, Patch and Switch. <laughs> Not wrong. Did you know I am a master rapper, right? <laughs> oh. I don't. I don't want to know this. I I'm don't sorry. want to know this. I'm sorry. Wait. I'm a master rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I had a job where I rapped. I've heard Christmas you gifts. try to do Run DMC. I, and I know that. <laughs> don't not push me because I'm close to the edge. Yes. <laughs> I, I, oh, it doesn't work. No. No. <laughs> Got it. That works. I'm there. Uh, I'm serious. Joey, I, I was a master rapper as a person working in one of those mall kiosks for at least a week before they fired to, me. <laughs> for burning something down or? No, it just was, you know, <laughs> a bit surly one day. Didn't really have the coffee correctly. You know, yeah. Problems. So, I mean, with the last name of Claus, you would just assume it's just natural inside the DNA that I can wrap stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I had no idea. I've learned, I've learned so much about you the last two episodes of the show, like these random facts of Rick. Uh, yeah. I, yep. Okay. You know, anyway. It always was it always was something I wanted to try of actually taking one of those ginormous rolls of, of paper and like wrapping someone inside of the roll of paper. Um, but you know, I, I unfortunately was unemployed before I had the opportunity to try that. I was I was mischievous in my youth. Do I need to uh, set up a scene for a random acts of Rick? Or random <laughs> facts of Rick? Random facts of Rick. Is that a new segment on the I, show? I think that might be a new segment. I can I can set up a scene for that if you want. Just say well, that could work. That could work. Uh, I stunned silence. Stunned I completely silence. sidelined you, didn't I? Yeah, I, I was not expecting because I just figured that you, like myself, just couldn't wrap a present to save their life. I mean, look, so let's be real. Actually, I, my my kids were talking about this just earlier because one of the one of their friends was going to be giving a, a skateboard to somebody as a gift, like a penny board or something like that. You know, those those used to be trendy a while ago. Um, anyway, when we got penny boards for our girls, the twins, um, I purposely wrapped them as the board itself and wrapped the wheels, wrapped the the trucks, wrapped the board itself, so it looked like a penny board, but wrapped in wrapping paper beneath the tree as a joke for them. They still remember it to this day. So you got to have fun with it. That's, that's my that's, I, I have as much fun as I can until I've finally, after an hour, finished wrapping the at, first at kit. 3 a, at 3 a.m. on Christmas Eve, <laughs> and you're just bonkeredly yes. done. The kids are yeah. asleep. Yeah. You're, I, I'm downstairs with like a half bottle of Jack. <laughs> I'm yeah. just, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throw the stuff in a box and then put some like poofy paper on top of it. We're good. <laughs> Yeah, and and even then, you know, I can't even get the poofy paper right. That's just... no, 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 definitely not. I I, I would picture that uh, your significant other uh, is like very, very well on point for how she wraps because she's oh, 100%. very, very good on know, the design side. Do you know how much pressure that puts on me? No, oh, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I, I would I be mean, intimidated. There is no question who has wrapped what gift under the tree there is all the nicely wrapped ones by not just my wife by both of my children oh yeah because they like to help out now they're old enough right so and then there's mine yeah <laughs> i mean I, is it just me but like it doesn't matter how often i try to measure it correctly i'm always short by about that much on every gift even if it's just a tiny tiny little like there's Patches. always just this yeah exactly i'm like well, i gotta cut another piece off and put it around yeah. it's stupid. No, I, I can definitely say that my wrapping skills are much better than my wiring skills um but those have gotten better <laughs> um but uh yeah the wrapping stuff i don't know it's just something i something i do um my wife and i were complaining now that the kids are teens that there's less wrapping to do yeah i don't know 
less rapid. So there is because you're not. I mean, you know, when they were kids, the toys they're like five dollars each. You get a few of yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, who would, who do we have in the house today? We've got absolutely oh. another random IT guy. It tends here. Nice. Uh, Chaz Rich is here, uh, DEF CON veteran, foul temper down in the PTX FTO pair. Uh, good to see you, Invent Ken King, um, uh, Kay McFerrin, KT Baker, 77, the shadiest of pandas. Soren is here uh, as his Vizio MVP, and Willem84. Nice. Uh, and I don't think I've missed anybody. I don't think I've missed uh, Izzy uh, again. Yeah. And Aspen Forrester is calling out and saying, congratulations, we love the Christmas colors of the lights today. Was that a purposeful ah. choice? I didn't notice that. Uh, it, so I had done, we we have our teams, uh, the, the my entire, the entire identity divisions, uh, virtual holiday party is later this afternoon. Oh, okay. And uh, I have some hosting duties. Uh, so... Um, some they may have been pre-recorded, so that may have still been that color from <laughs> when I did pre-recordings earlier in the week. Because my friend, I have been out of the office, completely I disconnected that. with the oofs. Uh, so, yep, I've, I've turned the oofs on since uh, Tuesday. Well, Wednesday was really the first day. Tuesday, and, I saw. And I still so. pinged you by text because I know your text number and said, yes. "Hey, can you give me the EBC deck for uh, for identity?" Yes. <laughs> it's like, here you go. And in case you don't know what EBC means, it's internal Microsoft colloquialisms for executive briefing center, the, the, the yes. talking walking deck for all the high level CEOs. I need, I, I, I need to meet, I need to meet some identity goodness. I knew you'd be the man to ask. And not only did I reply with the location for the EBC deck, I replied with the location of many, 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 many materials that you could potentially use. I just, just in case that. you ever. Well, I know, but I gave you a lot of... I just needed one slide. I... <sighs> All right, so who do we have in chat? <laughs> oh, <laughs> one I slide love it, man. One slide only. <laughs> I know, I eh? <laughs> One ping only. <laughs> uh, what's been going on in your world? You, you've been actually working. I, I'm still working. Um... Uh, we're wrangling something that's happening in February right now, and it's involved a lot of meetings on the sides and stuff like that. So um, I can I can kind of talk about it, but I don't want to talk about it just yet because I'm not involved directly with the communications plan. But let's just say that we've been listening to a lot of people who have been talking about event fatigue uh, and just being tired of having online events and things along those lines. And so my team is trying to come up with something creative to to break the norm and to try something out. And it'll be coming up in February with more details. And that's about as much as I can say at this point. But it's been very busy trying to get that to work. Oh, very cool. Very cool. That's super cool. I want more details. Tell me why. Uh, I can't give them to you right now. Sorry, I'm not authorized. You can wait, but you, you, I'm, I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'll just come over and bring a six pack, and we can socially distance <laughs> in the in the, uh, in the driveway there. Uh, Producer Jay Shock, are we on Learn? Yeah, we're getting ping, buddy. We are, are we on Learn. We are on Learn. We were a little late in starting we're over not. there because the okay. uh, the link didn't work immediately, but bop, I got bop, it. Bop. I got it working again. Nice, Fair thank enough. you. Hello, Learn TV folks. Welcome. Yep. Yes, exactly. Welcome. Uh, Good to see you all. I am pure. I am pure. Says a new version of Ignite, perhaps. No, right? You're not. Oh, if I only had me. the budget. Can you imagine they put me in charge of that budget? I know, right? Like a whole hundred dollars that I could have control over. It would be perfect. A hundred dollars. That That's all. A hundred dollars twenty-five. Yeah. But don't we have to convert that to Canadian? Well, you know, see, that's like a uh, hundred and thirty-eight and change with some other stuff. I don't know what that is, but yeah, the exchange rate would help too. But uh, yeah, no, there's there's definitely some cool stuff. And hey, there's there's stuff that's, you know, we already talked about how there's another Ignite coming up uh, at the end of the last Ignite, I do believe. So that's- Yes, um, we did. That's, that's not too far away. No, absolutely not. I, I am pure says, <laughs> I was over watching Learn TV. That's why I jumped over here. So great to see oh, you. Oh, nice. I'm pure. Glad, got, glad to see that you came over here. Uh, a oh. drive-in version, a drive-in event. Chad, which is like a drive-in. 
<laughs> Can you imagine us on top of a uh, a drive-in theater screen, just chatting? No, no. So so back in the day, like the, we yesterday, we actually had this weird thing going on on my team chat because like my my team in in Teams, you've got your channels and you got your team stuff like that. But way back when we started using Teams and the, and the team was formed, we created a chat that we call AZ Ops. Um, sometimes it gets renamed to the Ricksters because they're people that work on my team, but it's generally called AZ Ops. Um, and then we start. Um, I found an old blog from Can IT Pro Days, which is the old blog that I used to write for ages ago. Back in 2005 is when it started. That's how old that one was. Anyway, I found some old articles and pictures, and I actually found the blog post um, of when Anthony Bartolo, Wireless Life, joined the um, joined the uh, the team, and it has some pictures of him clean shaven. <laughs> oh wow. And he looks like about he's 22 or something like that on when he's on stage. Uh, I thought he was I, 22. I, he's about 22 and a half now, 23. He's he's got that ever uh, essential look to uh, to how young he is. Um, anyway, so he um, uh, I, we posted that in the channel. Some other stuff came up on the channel, uh, and it's it's just hilarious to be able to go off and to see him in that kind of age. But. Uh, the uh, the the old way back machine time machine was always fun to be able to go back and take a look at for Canity Pro for other events that we used to do. Uh, but uh, back in the day, we had this one series that we went across Canada, and instead of conference rooms and instead of like venues that we would use, uh, we would rent out uh, movie theaters. And oh, so, I remember this. Yeah, so, so you you would be this person on yes. stage. The, the small yes. stage is not even like four feet deep or something like that. Yeah. Down at the bottom corner, and the entire wall behind you was your demo screen or your slides. Yeah. It was the yeah. best. You never had to worry about whether or not people could see your your demos or if they could understand what was going on. If anything, they just had to worry about trying to find you on the stage because you're like this small uh, on the thing. Great there, comfy seats. Oh, it's great. Yeah. There is one downside with presenting on a screen that way is when you use Zoom it, you yeah. can make the audience. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like 3D kind of a thing. The audience, yeah. whoa, 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 hang on. So I can uh, confirm that I never fell off the stage. However, other people on my team <laughs> had fallen off the stage. I don't know if wireless, if wired connect, which is Pierre, if he did or not, but there's yeah. another guy on my team that absolutely fell off the stage before. But, SharePoint uh, Madam says you can rent a theater for $150 now. No, I know it's 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 probably really cheap now for <laughs> lack of room. But I mean, if you think about it, who does projectors really well? It's going to be a theater, right? It's going to oh, be a movie 100%. Yeah. as opposed to let's rig something up that would just happen to work and 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 make it sit inside the ballroom kind of thing. Um, yeah. Definitely cool. Definitely cool. I, I, wish I am sure. Says I remember when the two of you did evangelist tours across Canada. I love those yeah. shows. And then he uses yeah. the word shows in uh, in air quotes. Yeah. Uh, Scott Metzel <laughs> says, "When can we all get all back to? When can all get back to? Oh, when can we all get back together again? Orlando need Orlando. Ditto. Yes. With mm -hmm. as look soon. Right. Yeah. I mean, positive news has been happening. There's there's a vaccine." Um, it's obviously going to take some time, but as soon as we can all get back together, we'll definitely be doing that. And, uh, and this is your absolutely then, everyday public service announcement, wear your mask, obviously, until yes, that please. time comes, because it's as effective, if not more, if everyone does it. Yes, exactly. SharePoint Madam saying it used to be two to three thousand dollars to rent a theater. Now it's a now yeah. it's a dollar dollar three eighty. It's Canadian exchange rate. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, we, um, so you're working on something top secret, which I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll share more information about as we move forward. You know, we have news. We, we had an exciting thing happen after the show last week. It's okay. It's just Jared. Nobody uh, else is, can hear. Is that okay? It's just us. Okay. It's just us. Sounds like, yeah. Sounds like he's grabbing open a bag of chips and he's like. I think it's pretzels, actually, or it's, pork rinds. I'm not sure. It's popcorn from when you played Diablo. Popcorn. It's still the same nice. popcorn. Okay. Popcorn. Oh, it's still the same popcorn from nice. when I played Diablo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so, so we have big news. Uh, Visi MVP. There's a vaccine for patch and switch. No, unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, as it may be. Uh, yeah. Jan says smack, smack six. I don't know what smack six are, Jan. Um, yeah. Anyway, sorry. We, we had something happen at the end of the last show, um, and it's really cool. And it's going to possibly change the show moving forward. 
Okay, let's be honest. Nothing's going to change the show. Yeah, I would say what? We're getting, <laughs> do we hire a production assistant or something or what? Hey, no, no, we don't have the budget for hey, that. Hey. But <laughs> we have uh, uh, the Patch and Switch channel on Twitch is now we've made affiliate status. Oh, okay. So that what that means, um, School we're working me on this because because I, I yeah. knew that we achieved it, but I honestly don't know what it means other than the yeah. fact that you're excited by it. Well, look, it gives the opportunity for our our attendees as we I think that's what we call yes, because the they're attendees, not really fans. The no, no, no. Nobody possibly would be a fan of this Absolutely show. Absolutely not a fan. Absolutely not a fan. Uh, but those who attend the program um, will actually be able to subscribe to the channel. But we are not. Uh, we have made the decision. Uh, to not take any income from anything that we would get from Twitch, from running any right. ads for any subscribers, for anybody who decides to donate bits. Um, we are going to uh, make it basically charity. Um, so uh, we have some plans, uh, some things in the works. We'll be, I actually wanted to talk to you about potentially doing charity stream uh, in the future, particularly mm -hmm. around uh, cancer. Um, which, uh, for those who don't know, earlier this year I lost my father to cancer, and so uh, it's a big thing for me to want to give back, particularly um, child uh, and, and children. So we'll look into that. But basically, what we'll be doing is turning the ability for um, attendees to subscribe via Twitch. Uh, if you don't know, if you have Prime, uh, you get one free subscription that you can use that that Amazon pays to the channel. Oh. Um, and uh, that's that's coming. So it gives us the ability to kind of build and expand the channel a bit. And then what we will also be doing, uh, and I haven't talked to you about this. I probably should have done that before. So, you see, this is good because you can just like spring all these things on me with, you know, and I've got the public reaction face on right now. So yeah, exactly. I'm just going to exactly. smile and nod the entire time. And, and even if I disagree with anything, which I don't, by the way, I don't disagree with anything you're saying. But if I did, I wouldn't be able to express it myself. This is this is how I pretty much paint Rick into a corner to agree. Oh, yeah. it's like, my oh, yeah, by the way, Rick, we're going to have you tied to a horse that will be jumping <laughs> off of the bridge into a flaming circle of fire with shark infested water at the bottom. It's going to be great. We're going to take three camera angles at once. You only have to do it once. Okay. Actually, yeah. how did you know that actually, was going to happen? <laughs> you, you, you got it all right, except for the fire. Because of our insurance, we're not able to have fire okay. because of you. Yeah, uh, but the sharks, True. sure. Sharks, yeah, I, good. I have Very to good. add the fire effects. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, one of the other things that we'll be working on is uh, our our YouTube channel. Yeah. And so the ability for folks wait, to wait, be able we to have a YouTube channel. We do. Yes. I don't think it's been updated since 2018. Okay. Uh, but I believe we set it up at one point in time. Uh, so, but basically, uh, we're going to be setting up a YouTube channel uh, to put the videos on, and try to get uh, a little bit better toward our SLAs of getting uh, the shows after we have done the show here on Twitch, uh, posted up as video on demand. Um, so I have to on start YouTube. watching a Jira board now or something or, or ADO objects or, or something like that. Um, We're going to have stand-ups every day. No. Like, like this is going to be impactful, right? So I need to plan my day out accordingly. Um, well, I'm sure I, I would certainly hope it has impact. I mean, I hope our audience will, <laughs> will definitely follow. But remember, um, Number one, do not feel obligated to subscribe to yeah, the channel once that's not. turned on. Um, we appreciate it. Uh, just please follow us. So if you haven't on Twitch yet, give us a follow. When we when we stand up the YouTube channel, we'll go ahead and have you follow us there as well. Um, that's all we really care about. That's how we kind of measure is just who's following the show. And people just watch the watch the videos. We will still have our episodes available uh, on uh, the podcasts. So delay by a day or two. Are, um, are we going to do like a SoundCloud thing? Because like, you know, whenever anything goes viral, they always say, oh, yeah, go yeah. check me out on SoundCloud. Are they going to have yeah. a SoundCloud too? No, I think we'll or, probably just redirect them to Twitch or YouTube. Oh, okay. Actually. Yeah. That works. Yeah. I am Pierce says you should restream this to the YouTube channel as well as Learn TV. One of the, yeah. <laughs> that is, that, we were that just is having the chat about that. Yeah, we were just <laughs> talking about that. If we if we accept our affiliate status on Twitch, we will not be able to do that. Uh, 
But one of the things that we have always uh, been really passionate about, uh, and you know this if you've bought any, uh, if you've purchased any of the merchandise, is uh, for us to be able to get back, um, and so to get back not only to a, a, you know a charity around something like cancer, but also back to our other communities, uh, girls who code. Uh, and some of those things. And so I think, you know, it just gives us a better, bigger opportunity to um, reach out to our community, to get more people involved in our community, because what we uh, have here is, is super cool. And I love being able to do this every couple of weeks. And then it's even better when we get to do things um, like Microsoft Ignite um, and to be able to participate in some of that stuff and bring your voice as our attendees into the conversations that we have uh, when we start planning for uh, Microsoft Ignite, which there's a meeting, isn't there? There's what? a meeting today. What? I think we have a meeting later. Do we? I'm on vacation. Why Why did you schedule a meeting with me? I didn't know when I said it. I'm sorry. I'll fill you in what's there. Don't worry, I'll pass on the notes. I'll say you're there. You're going to have a meeting with yourself? So over here, I have a cutout of Joey that I can use. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> Joey's right here with me. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. But anyway, uh, so changes coming uh, to the channel. Just want to make sure everybody is aware. Uh, then we'll be sending up the YouTube channel. As always, you can grab anything via podcast. Whatever podcast oh, yeah. network you subscribe to, if Just it's Spotify. Yep, yeah, if it's Spotify. That's the coolest thing. My kids still show. <laughs> my kids still you're on Spotify. Yes, I, I, I know. Yes, I, we know. <laughs> did we have we logged in to get the stats of who's actually listened? I have a couple of times and people are subscribing across the well, board. But because, you know, they've done the year end thing. Did you get your year end Spotify? This is what you're did, listening to. You didn't to? show up in it anywhere. On on Spotify, unfortunately. No, no. but but you, did, did you get your year in review? Yeah, I did. I think, uh, well, yeah, I, everyone's posting like crazy online. I think that's great yeah. data mining for how bad yeah. music taste I have. Um, <laughs> well, that's what I was trying like, to do. I was trying to nothing, bait you. There's nothing <laughs> wrong when you're feeling a little sad to listen to some Celine Dion to lift your spirits, okay? Or some Anne Murray. Nothing's wrong. I'm comfortable in my music choices. <laughs> So uh, let's start the show, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Should I rerun the theme? Nice. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Scott Metzl, a little Kenny G. Oh, yeah. No, see, I don't like the, I'm not a fan of the, the, the Kenny G stuff. No? Not, not a no. big fan of Kenny G? Okay. Uh, especially at Christmas time. It gets played too much. How about Michael Bolton? Michael Bublé. Bublé. Yes. No, Michael Michael. Michael I'm a Buble fan. Another another Canadian out of the out of the Vancouver's area. <laughs> Wire Connect says you are way late on Spotify. August seventh is the last updated podcast. Now this is what we're looking to fix. Yeah, yeah. So we we need to make sure that we have the proper SLAs in place. So yes. I will make an ADO entry saying please update the playlist for uh, <clears throat> our online experience. Fair enough. Uh, Shady Stepandas asks, isn't Celine required listening for Canadians? Um, it's part of the citizenship test, actually. Oh, is it? Yeah. Where does Nickelback fall in that? Uh, we don't talk about them. <laughs> Fair. Fair Alanis enough. Morissette. Yeah? She's there. Yeah, okay. You have to you <laughs> take one of those multiple choice questions, like, choose all the artists that are Canadian from this list. Well, so what happens if you pick Nickelback? Well, that's a that's a hidden Easter egg, I think. <laughs> oh, is that is that what it is? Okay, fair enough. Um, she, uh, apparently, Jared's been called out. Uh, you have no room to laugh at Rick's music choices. Yeah. Wired Canuck, don't mind Nickelback. Um, I'm gonna ban him. Hang on. <laughs> at least mute him for a while, please. Yeah, exactly. At After that one for a while. <laughs> Foul tip for the PDX. Robin Sparkles. <laughs> Would, should I put Wired Canuck into timeout? Yeah. <laughs> I already did. It's okay. okay. <laughs> I, I foul tap well done with the with the Robin Sparkles. Uh, she was a, a mall superstar, I believe, right? Very very similar to uh, I, I I don't know Robin Sparkles. Um Oh, you haven't watched How I Met Your Mother enough then? No. Uh, oh, no. see, there you go. Uh, all right. I have to catch up on that one. 
Uh, so, so you've got something top secret that you're working on. We've given the, you know, the words, uh, the, 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 the news about what's happening with the, with the channel, uh, to, to, to the attendees. So that pretty much does it for front of the trenches because I haven't done anything. Yeah. I just had a couple of wrap up meetings on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, I, I have some fun stuff going on that I'm trying to schedule in today or this weekend, um, that I've been trying to get around to doing for a while now. And you, you're kind of aware of this. I talked about it in previous shows. The uh, Azure Stack HCI devices that I have inside the lab environment back at the office, um, they have been kind of sitting in a semi-dormant state because of user error, imagine that, uh, configuration of the IP addresses uh, that were causing conflicts and the inability to go through and browse to the outside world to go to azure.com or to microsoft.com or other things like that. They could find each other just fine. They're having some error messages on the domain controllers, uh, things like that. So yeah, definitely some crapped up stuff that I did for the third time. Uh, I think I've got it remotely now working uh, and sorted out. Uh, an interesting weird thing that was happening, I don't know if this is the, if, if, if there's an easy fix for this. Uh, for some reason, Nick number one and Nick number three on the box were actually using the same MAC address. So like stuff would go out from number three, but then because yeah. it was sharing the same MAC address as number one, it would not reliably come back again when it was looking for stuff. Um, and the only reason why I found this out because I was troubleshooting with one of the lab administrators that were there. And he actually said, you do realize that uh, your MAC address is shared between these two, uh, these two Nicks, eh? I'm like, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know how you did that either. So I don't know if it was like a bad, uh, bad ARP cache or something like that on the router that was going on. But uh, yeah, so uh, double checked all my settings across all four NICs because the because the, they have they have three NICs apiece. So this this the fifth and the sixth NIC are set up for DHCP. But double checked across all four NICs, the BMC remote control NICs and the actual NICs that are used by the operating system. Everything is finally sat satisfied right now. They're all done. The boxes are powered down. They're waiting for me to log on and press the big red button to fire them back up again. Because on Thursday, we actually announced the general availability of Azure Stack HCI V2, which I do believe, although I didn't watch the show yet, just don't tell them. Um, uh, the folks over at AZ Updates uh, have uh, talked about already. They did. They did. They spoke about it this morning. Not that I was up at that early to listen yeah, to, to think about that it. show. Uh, however, I, I would love to figure out how you managed to get the two Nicks talking to each other. But anyway, I saw Jeff Woolsey also posting on the Twitters today about yeah. the general availability of Azure Stack H HCL. HCI. High, HCI. Uh, HCI. Highly converged infrastructure. HCI. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. So fair enough. I, I, I was actually talking to a customer, hyperconverged. Um, I, I was actually talking to a customer this week. Can you believe that? Account no. teams came and sought me out. And well, actually, they sought out Jeff, uh, <laughs> Jeff Wilson. <laughs> um, and Jeff they said, no, I, Jeff. I'm kind of busy. Can you talk to this guy over here? He might have someone that can help you. And then uh, they, then I said, well, I'm available to talk. And they said, okay, whoever you are. Uh, and I was, <laughs> and I did a presentation. Random Microsoft person. Random, random Microsoft person, but I think I know your hat from training somewhere uh, for other videos. So I did a presentation on uh, good old fashioned uh, Windows Admin Center this week. Yeah. Windows Admin Center is the new management interface, uh, new management plane, if you will, and is the primary way of doing stuff for the Azure Stack HCI environment and, and being able to manage it. Uh, so it was literally like a, a an introductory session about what was uh, Windows Admin Center, how it works, uh, how you install it, uh, how customers are using it, does it replace System Center, all that kind of stuff, those kind of questions. So I was I was working working hard, uh, making the PowerPoints and trying to find stuff. And it's interesting because there's, there's not a lot of introductory information on Windows Admin Center because we just take it for granted. It's so easy to it's like one executable to download. Yeah. And if it doesn't even have a web server, it makes the web server and you just go off and use it, right? Yep. C can you hear my dog barking right now? No. Uh -uh. Okay, my gate is up high enough then, my, my sound gate. Because every day around 930, there's a pair of labs that go walking past the front of the house. <laughs> and he's obsessed <laughs> about someone is attacking the house and he must protect it. Because uh, yeah. he's sitting up front right now. So he's going nuts downstairs. 
Yeah, that's what Riley does. That's what Riley does. Well, that's super cool. Some HCL conversations with customers. Did you did you gain any insights from the customers? Is it something to share? They this was your typical customer engagement where they're very quiet. Ah, okay. I'm, I'm presenting to a camera and I have no idea if it's landing or not. And if my jokes are working, their mics are muted. Half of them are dialed in using the conferencing bridge as opposed to using Teams. Uh, I don't even know yeah. if they could see what was going on. So that was kind of sad. Uh, but at the end, when we did talk, there was a good dozen or so questions about it, uh, about things, uh, which was good. And they invited me back or, or they invited my team and me <laughs> back, I guess I should say. I think they wanted your team more. Yes. Than... So, so, so we're going to start up like a, a very, a very brief little, uh, like brown bag lunch kind of thing. Um, even though they're remote. So I don't know if you still do brown bags if you're remote, I guess you just use like leftovers, uh, Leftover meetings, <laughs> that's a new term or uh, not. I, I don't know that that quite flows off the tongue. It doesn't as a brown bag does, yeah. No, that leftover, leftover meetings, I, no. I think it's, I, I think it's still, you know, you brown bag to your, to your, uh, to your office, to your home yeah. office, right? I mean, I, I so. do, I just, you know, I just don't need the bag. So yeah, True. there you go. True. Uh, Foul Tepper, the PDX, Rick, who can I reach out to for questions about licensing for new HCI for dev test scenarios? So there's this great guy on Twitter uh, that you can follow, Wes McDonald, who knows all things licensing at all times. And so you just randomly go off and uh, I think it's get wired, is, is it? <laughs> you mean Wes Miller? Wes Miller. <laughs> Because Wes McDonald so. is Ronald McDonald's little brother. Don't want to follow yeah, him know, for right? licensing. <laughs> yeah, it, it does, he only talks about cheeseburgers. <laughs> All the cheeseburgers. Um, nice. Okay, fair enough. Uh, no, no, so yeah, if, you, if, if you like Mr. Foul Temper PDX, I will take that as an action item and I'll get back to you for the next show. Wow, fair enough. He's, he's created an ADO object for that. Yeah, I've got a new ticket. And I can ride. <laughs> I'm no. telling you, it's Spotify. I'm just on fire today. Um, well, I'm not literally on fire, but I, I've been close. Do, do I need to restart the show again? <laughs> uh, what uh, What else has been going on? Let's talk about uh, Let's talk about beer money. The support that we do for our friends, our families, our families, friends, sisters, aunts, uncles. Um. Oh boy, I. <laughs> there's a story. All I had to do was say that, and his head goes in shame. There is a story. So let's start with you, so, Mr. Claus. So I can either confirm or deny that there may have been some beverages that were spilt on a controller. Um, <laughs> or who was doing that? Uh, so I'm like, yeah, it's just a controller. We can fix this. Let's just crack it open and... I do some screws and you know take some isopropyl rubbing alcohol and and like clean off the clean off the contacts and and that sort uh -huh. of stuff. So okay. Um, so I, I went and um, found that uh, a YouTube video. So now actually, if you're looking at the patch and switch uh, YouTube environment, you might see some videos that are all about controllers <laughs> in, our, <laughs> in our recent searches. Um, as I'm trying to find a disassembly video for how to take this apart for my Xbox Series uh, uh, Elite controller version one uh, that now had very gummed up buttons on the, it was the B button for the back and the, and the A button. A button was fine, it was mostly B. And then another one that we use for for changing your loadout or something like that. Anyway, uh, so so I'm like, well, this can't be that hard. So I, yesterday I went off and I, I cracked it open, um, and I followed the video. And the video was very meticulous about how to do it. The problem is um, now I've got a problem where the magical lights. Um, there's a there's a ribbon cable that's underneath the board. Did I put the screws back in again? I don't think I did. Yeah, yeah. So. So the, the there's a ribbon cable that normally attaches right into there. Yeah. They tell you on the video, be careful uh, when you take it out. Uh, so I was very careful when I took it out. They didn't tell you how to put the damn thing back in again. They just glossed <laughs> over it at the end. Do you know how hard it is to get the ribbon cable from from this thing right here? inside of this little thing right in there and so that it matches up uh anyway so 
when I had it back together again, I put the batteries into it and I'm like all proud and excited. And then I press the button and the, the thing will not turn on at this point. And then I'm like, well, maybe I missed a screw and there's like a pressure sensor switch here that maybe is like an idiot proof switch or a safety switch about not electrocuting yourself. Um, but either way, uh, I cannot get the ribbon cable in again. And as you can see from these dangling things here, there's supposed to be a gray wire attached to those two. They broke off the board as well. So uh, needless to say, I have a Xbox Series 1, um, or Xbox Elite Controller Series 1 available for parts uh, at this point in time. Um, and, and that's all I have for that. And that was my attempt at trying to make it so that my, my B button, because it works great now. Look, look out. There's no friction whatsoever on that. But it required, I, I remember on our podcast from Windows Radio, you were talking about the iFixit tool box yeah. solution. Oh, I don't have one. So I had to go back and borrow one from my, from my almost lost a bit there, um, from my neighbor across the street. Uh, he gave me his garage code to go in and gave me directions on where to find it. He has a lot of really nice tools in there. So um, <laughs> uh, anyway. For future notice. For future knowledge. So uh, in case you need a security bit, um, I should have taken that as an indication. Um, the the Torx, you need a Torx 8, uh, and it's a Torx 8 anti-tamper proof. I think we need to rename that to Rick proof. Uh, yeah. Because I couldn't figure out why my Torx wasn't working, because I, I couldn't see that there was actually the pin in the center that keeps yeah. you from using a regular Torx bit. So now I know. Security bit's there. Um, and I have an Xbox One Elite controller available for parts, if anyone would like one. Uh, Wire Canuck says, is that why you suck at Call of Duty? Um, <laughs> Scott Metzl says, well, I mean, now you just have the good excuse to buy a Series X. So, you know, I'm thinking about that if there was any stock anywhere. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I have not been able to find anything yet. No, uh, neither have I. Neither have I. Uh, Rickster proof. Jan says Rickster proof. Vizzy MVP Rick proof. There is no such yeah. thing. Um, foul, foul temper PDX. He had a lot of nice tools <laughs> in there. <laughs> Very true, sir. Well played. Borrowed. Borrowed. Uh, borrowed a little bit. Um, well, so so you did mention you did mention um, the the show that went live. I believe it was Tuesday this week. Yeah, Maybe it was Tuesday Monday this week. I think it was. Uh, we were special guests. We we had um, Rich Campbell, Richard Campbell, last uh, program, last episode. We were guests on his program, Run As Radio, this week, where we talked about our geek gadget gifts, right? And so uh, there's a yeah, about, there we go. This little screenshot. Yeah, about 30, 35 minutes where we talked about some of the things that we would like to get. Or have give, given, have gifted to us. And one of the first things that I talked about is this iFixit toolkit um, okay. that I've been drooling over, right? Which oh, it has all nice. the, yeah, it has all the techie things, right? It, it's have got, you done the Have you done the appropriate uh, hints off to your significant other? Well, I'm hoping that because she's, so like, I know she doesn't watch the, the show. No, she doesn't watch the show. But yeah. I'm hoping since she's currently feeding the dog on the other side of the, she would have heard like wall here that she would yeah. definitely hear that I really would like really? the iFixit toolkit. The, the iFixit the, toolkit with 174 pieces in the red case in my no, Amazon it's, wish list. It's a, it's a blue kit. It's a blue, blue kit, sorry. Not yeah. the red one. Blue. Go for the blue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Scott Metzl, uh, three, three lights yet. Enter, two lights leave. <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, we were, uh, so that was super cool. That would have been definitely helpful in in this scenario. But we have a bunch of other um, holiday gift list suggestions, including some beer things, yeah. um, uh, some some networking uh, things. So go on over, uh, check out Run As Radio. Uh, but I would really like to know what our attendees are looking for. What is their kind of, yeah. what would they like to see in their stocking or under the tree from Santa? Um, uh, of, of their kind of geeky gadget gifts. Um, I, we did. We we could have done the obvious, right? New console. Yeah. Uh, we but we did we did stay away from that. I I, I would like a, a freaking video card. Uh, you don't have any, one. Anything that's bigger, anything that's better than a a, a, a GTX one <laughs> version one card. Because hey I man, think I'm running, I'm running the 1650 right now. It's not bad. 
it still works. Uh, well, I I was looking for a 1660 Super, and oh, yeah. they're to be found. Uh, and then they came out with the uh, Nvidia came out with the 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 3060 card, which is the sub four hundred dollar card. Which if you can find it, is right around seven hundred dollars. Yeah, I know. I'm waiting until all that shenanigans uh, settles down. There's a thread uh, last week that was talking about, obviously, still the um, the backlog of supply chain for parts for consumer processors, 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 um, number of cores, number of threads, and what the what the consumer really needs to have versus what's out there right now, and and things like that. And you know, Jeff. Woolsey, WSV, uh, Windows Server guy, um, WSV guy on on uh, online was was talking about with Carmen, because uh, Carmen was looking just for a simple what, what like what I did right and and uh, going for a, a older generation AMD chip that uses the same chipset and the motherboard that can be upgraded later when all these things finally catch up and finally come down in price. Uh, yeah. And he was complaining about how it's only worth about 160 bucks for the proc, but you can't find them for less than 400 right now. Still. Yep. Or, yep. or you know, J Jeff chimed in saying, yeah, I'm waiting for this one, which is like a big Mondo daddy one. It's like an eight week delay before it arrives. Uh, so yeah, craziness, craziness that's in there. Uh, KT Baker is looking for a laser sight for Zayar. Uh, uh -huh. I am pure wants a scuff elite controller. Mm-hmm. Uh, Let's see. Uh, Scott Metzl, new intercooler gadget of a gadget of a different variety. That's cool. Uh, would love a Samsung Odyssey G9, 49 inch ultra wide. Wow. Don't think that'll fit in a stocking. No, yeah. but it will look really nice on a desk. Just saying. <laughs> Defcon veteran, close to my heart. He'd love to have a Azure Stack HCI Home Lab uh, if you're interested. Very nice. You should, oh, fair you should enough. Check out yeah, the affordable fair. prices of Azure Stack HCI from our friends over at Data On. This message brought to you hashtag, by hashtag not sponsored, but hashtag <laughs> you can once we become an affiliate. You got it. Uh, <laughs> Patch and switch powered by data on. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. I am pure. Just upgraded everything else in the room. Details about the page. Uh, William said, "Willem, Willem, version eighty four says a new super micro server for his home lab." That could work. Uh, you know, it's that's like the third person's mentioned the home lab. And you know it's interesting. It used to be all the rage that people were having home labs and still using them and working on them and stuff like that. And then they kind of died off for the longest time. But now that we're living at work, uh, the home labs are coming back into fashion again for being able to work on things. So craziness. I I, I currently don't have a home lab, but I did recently build up a um, an old uh, HP workstation to be my home server for being able to have access to my files and, and things like that. Uh, I needed to get it up and working again because of my rebuild that I did for my PC, needed to put the file somewhere and and then bring them all down and have them all working again. So I set that one up as an Azure, as, as a simple uh, Windows Server 2019 core box, uh, no desktop environments whatsoever, no desktop experience, um, and it worked out fine. Repurposing uh, some home lab equipment, I guess. I am pure says I used to have 10 servers in my home lab. Crazy power consumption, yes. Mm. Uh, w Willem says my home lab is Azure. Oh, yeah. No, that, it works. That belongs on a shirt. Though, <laughs> that, uh, that maybe. maybe. Yeah, my, my other computer is an Azure data center, right? Yeah, yeah. that's 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 the stickers that, that, that you had, stickers that you had done back, back, in, back in the day. Uh, everybody wants a Azure Stack HCL. Oh, yeah. That's everybody's wanting their Azure Stacks. Uh, that, so that I've, Dance is going to have to create a lot of Azure Stacks. So I'm, I'm, my plan is that I'm going to go through and and do a captured recording uh, of doing a from scratch install of Azure Stack HCI uh, V2 and connecting it up to my MSDN subscription, um, Azure subscription, because I have full control over that one. I don't have control over the Microsoft one, obviously. Correct. <laughs> right. As, uh, you don't nobody, want, no. You don't want me doing that. I do have no. control. I do have control over my own Azure subscription, but it's heavily policied by, and rightly so, and yes. properly governed by yes. our own uh, security center team and our own uh, Azure compliance and governance team as well. For 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 a reason. For a oh, reason. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for very much a yeah. reason. Yeah, absolutely. I've uh, I stood up a. Uh, uh, 
a VM uh, up in the Azures uh, to do my processing for Bash Music. Yeah. Um, and I've been playing. It, it's been a long time since I've seen the the Windows Server interface, and this is a Server 2019 box. And so that took some getting. Wait, hang on, hang on. I've got to. This looks different. Change, change. <laughs> uh yeah so i had that that that's been that that was that was fun initial it was initial shock to the system because it's been so long since i've actually dealt with the server os and any yeah, yeah. of uh, of that stuff and polishing it down and everything uh so, scott metzel so, says what you don't have global admin over ms corpse aad i mean what could go no, wrong no what could go zero wrong trust? there <laughs> yeah. zero this, that, uh, it's a new meaning to the word zero trust for Rick is what that is. Listen, Rick puts the zero in zero trust, okay? <laughs> it's another t-shirt. Rick puts the zero in zero trust. <laughs> that's, look at that. No, I think that's just a patch and switch, putting the zero in zero trust. That's, I think, TM yeah. patch and switch uh, 2020. Uh, 2021 uh, t-shirt right there. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think you're right. I think that we may have to... <laughs> That's going to be our next charity show. Charity show. Uh, Scott says we need to capture these quotes. Um, Jared has a one note. They're already being captured. Believe me. Believe me. I do. Uh, I am sure. Yes, we will do another more trust for sure. Absolutely. You're supposed to. That's our SLA. Are you not uh, reading will, my? <laughs> Willem says reading instant my buy. Yeah. <laughs> Willem says instant buy. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, KT Baker says, yes, Azure, not sure why you would want physical hardware anymore except to commune with blinky lights. Um, for me, it's fan noise. The, fan, the, the white noise, white noise fan noise. I've been lobbying because uh, I noticed that Bose came out with the Sleep Buds version 2, which I was addicted to the Bose Sleep Buds version 1. Uh, and you can actually get airplane white noise, which just brings a tear to my eye. Um, so I've been lobbying them to be able to get <laughs> uh, server room white noise as part of their application. Um, see if they can do has that. It worked? Has, uh, have, has, not have you yet. Had any success? Okay. Not yet. Fair enough. Uh, Bose, Fair if you're enough. listening, a sponsorship opportunity, and very good for at least another dozen people to subscribe to the app. If you had server room white noise, uh, server room white noise. Uh, I've I've done so. Does 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 beer money support factor in stuff that I'm doing for myself? Well, you know, I was fixing my controller for myself. So technically, well, fair I enough. Well, yes. uh, well, I didn't know if it was your controller or if you managed to ruin the kids' controller. Oh, no, the kids don't let me use their controllers. Um, they're in their rooms. <laughs> <laughs> my kids each have and an Xbox. And that tells you room. everything that yeah, you know. need to know. So, uh, so I, I've set their Xboxes up in their rooms because they use them as media devices and things like that, uh, and they have the proper charging. Like I've got my 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 charging dock that that you know has the batteries and stuff yep. like that inside of it. They're all set up perfectly. But when I when I have to run around the house now to try to find a spare controller because <laughs> I can't play my Xbox, um, and not a single one of them offered up the uh, their their Elite controllers that I bought them uh, a while ago. Uh, Scott, uh, I, uh, and, and, and William, yeah, we gotta, we've gotta watch the, the links. We've turned off links because we were getting, um, spam. So just so you know, um, so Scott used to have four or five computers in bedroom, got used to the fans. Um, I don't know why you got turned off for that. I'll have to double check the box. check out stream of elements level he of, put, uh, he put in MacRumors.com and, uh, William, uh, Willem V84 put in uh, whitenoise.net oh, yeah. as links. Yeah. Fair enough. Cool. Uh, so Scott says, uh, random thought for random spending. Nanoleaf released new triangles and mini triangles. Spotted a review on the macromers.com. They look neat. Yep. Uh, they've got different shapes, actually. So the, these uh, hexagons are part of their new shapes. And then they've got the mini triangles, which actually look really super cool. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll adjust the... We can't do links in the chat. That's just because we were getting a lot of spam in chat. Um, so we've turned that off. Um, and then, and, and Jared. I find it interesting that like 30 or so people watching the stream is enough that would trigger the bots to come out, right? <laughs> it, yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. But Once you, you know, pressed over that, it just goes crazy. Yeah, there you go. Interpreted as that. Yeah. For some reason, Scott, it, it took that as a link and I don't, I don't know what, oh, maybe the dots, who knows? Anyway, that's okay. It's all good. We've, we've untimed, we've untimed you out. So, so the reason I was asking is that I got a new lappy toppy. 
uh, for the day job. So I have you got come a new across. Machine already? I did well. It's been. It, it was actually four years since I got my last machine. Yeah, yeah. Because I got my last machine back when I was in our old org before I moved over to uh, yeah. the so new the new world. Internally at Microsoft, if you're at Microsoft Corp, you have to hang on to your hardware as you move between roles. Um, you generally have a certain time window based on your engineering team, how frequently you're allowed to update them or not. So ours are ours are are longer <clears throat> than they used to be. Yeah, because uh, we used to get one every couple of years. Yeah. Um, which I would fantastic. get one every couple of months as I broke them. Well, and then they then they timed the me out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this used to be a Surface Book. Now it's a tablet. <laughs> now it's uh, it's yes, fair enough. Um, we all know the story of that there in the middle of the presentation. But um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so I've got I've I've got my new refresh. So I was doing I was doing a lot of research, a lot of investigation into what I needed. And one of the biggest sticking points was dock uh, and being able to use a USB-C dock because I've got all these things that need to connect in, right? <clears throat> Multiple monitors, I've got USB sound cards for all the studios and everything. So I was looking at, do I go with the Surface laptop, which I love, love the form factor, get great reviews, everything like that. Or do I can look at something else? And because I had such amazing success, and I think the only reason why my current um, my current uh, ThinkPad X1 Yoga Gen is either Gen 2 or Gen 3 uh, wasn't quite working right was I think I had some driver conflicts and stuff. I think I just needed to do a refresh of the refresh, install, yeah. yeah, which I I will do on this laptop. But I did get the latest version, the Gen 5 of the X1 Yoga. Uh, i7, all the RAMs, nice 4K screen. It's actually the camera on it. I flipped that on as I was trying to get the, this camera to talk to it. Yep. Uh, looks actually really good for a built-in yeah, nice. camera. I, I'm super, super, super happy with this thing. Uh, that being said, um, I just used the default install that was on there. Um, I think that was a bad idea. So I think I'm going to go back through because yeah. it is the you Microsoft. You do a fresh laptop smell, man. Yeah, it, but I mean, I know it's the Microsoft build that's there, uh, but yeah, I think I think I I think I need to just um, I, I think it's it's I've got the I've got the key here, and I just keep hearing myself because I think Jared turned the sound up on his TVs there. But yeah. um, uh, I've got I've got my USB stick with the fresh uh, installed window, so that's going to be <laughs> happening uh, later in the, later today. As AD so. joined. Working so this is Azure AD stuff. joined from the beginning, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and everything was fine. I just uh, I, I just get this. There's just that feeling, right? Because you didn't control, you didn't put it down. I'm an IT guy. I didn't put the original image down, so there's that little bit of hesitancy. Uh -huh. so, so so that's what I've been working on, um, and I'm really happy with it. And and it's got I'm, this I'm other thing. I'm still amazed that that they allow a class of people like us, not everybody, a class of people like us in engineering. Yes. They yes. still allow us to have administrator rights on that box. That still um, freaks me out. <laughs> ish. Administrator ish. Ish. Yeah. Um, but this Probably actually policy. is really cool. The screen actually has a privacy screen that's electronic. <clears throat> so I press a button on the laptop and it turns on the privacy screen so you can't like look over my shoulder. Oh, yeah. Super cool. Anyway, anyway, that's what I've been Someone's calling me from Romania. Oh, yeah? Is your car yeah. warranty up? It must be. Or, or, or I'd want a trip from someone and I can go on a cruise like I want to go on a cruise right now. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Ugh. Absolutely. Yeah, Scott, that's it's totally cool. The digital um, privacy screen for when I, I'm, I'm being hopeful, man. I'm glass half full. I'm being optimist for when I'm traveling again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, because, yeah. We were talking about that earlier in the show. Uh, we've just got a few minutes left. Uh, it's the holiday season, so uh, I assume everybody is under current random spending freezes. But I do want to bring up random spending in case anybody has random spent. Uh, have you have you been able to do any random spending? I'm looking for a controller. <laughs> you know, if, <laughs> if, if you don't need the Elite version, you can get them right now from the company store. So I picked up a regular one from a company store. It should be here in a couple of days um, okay. because we got a we, we get a discount on the at least the controllers. Uh, I don't have them 
Um, I don't, we don't, we, there's no stock for the, for the elites. Uh, obviously yeah. they're in their retail only as they should be to be able to go off to our customers. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I have to wait for that. Uh, random spend stuff has been mostly Christmas gifts for people on my side for, you yeah. know, the, the, the Christmases that are going on at this point in time. I'm trying to think if I did like, um, <laughs> I was thinking about random spending myself on a, on a toolkit, but again, you don't buy yourself stuff. Because then you you anger yeah. the family. That's exactly. <laughs> probably you don't buy you stuff. You don't That's buy it. yourself stuff at this point. You, in time. you sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's get three work safe words together, and let's talk about next week. Oh, yes, our special announcement. Yes, another special announcement that we've saved to the end of the show. Of course, it's the way to do it. But would you like to get? Would you like to you to do this special announcement? You know what? I, I completely forgot. We should have. We should have had the the URL up with our our, our handy dandy um, sound engineer, but uh, we have been invited to be to partake inside of the. Uh, they no longer call it the end the the advent calendar. Um, they don't. No, they don't. It's 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 the 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 festive holidays uh, event. Yeah. Yeah. That's going on for Azure. The Izzy Isadora kicked off with a poem. Uh, we are going to be a surprise guest on that particular. So it's no longer a surprise. So we can tell you uh, that next week there will be a special show. Um, that is correct. Holiday edition, complete with holiday jumpers. I don't know what a jumper is. Uh, a jumper to me means something else. <laughs> yes. So um, with holiday jumpers, uh, there will be a special show taking place next week before we take a break. How long are we taking a break for, by the way? I know you're on we vacation right now, but... Yeah, but I'm like, on I'm on vacation. We will be it will be the 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 first uh, return of the big program. So so we will do a show next week, which is the 18th, and then we will be off until the 8th of the January. The 8th of January. Yes. Uh, Jay Shock asking if we have a URL for <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, he'll, I'm, I'm he'll being get so that. horribly bad at this. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure like Wireless Life has one or Wired Canuck has one. They can they can DM us or, or set it up. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's... So fair enough. So so let's let's recap. So special yeah. holiday episode of the Patch and Switch program next week. Are we bringing guests? FestiveTechCalendar.com. There we go. FestiveTechCalendar.com. Are we bringing guests for the show next week? That's a surprise. We can't talk oh, fair about. Enough. Okay, we can't talk about that. Well, I, we can't I tell you, know. even though even though it says coming soon on the website, we yeah. can tell you it'll be it'll be on air. On the 18th, which is the Friday, at a regular time, regular bat channel, yep. regular location, right here at Twitch. Yep, absolutely. Uh, oh, got the, got see the, the live show next week. Thank you. That's okay. That's all right. Oh, uh, oh, it's, the, they even have us on the speakers page. The very last one with you trying to hit me with a microphone. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, there's two. That you're actually up there earlier. Uh, oh, yeah. as, as Rick. Yeah, absolutely. I've seen that. Uh, so, so let's go over the calendar again and then, uh, it'll be time for the band because, um, we need to jet. Um, we have yeah. our meeting, the patch and switch meeting to talk about the webpage and everything. Okay. So no need to start the band yet. So let's talk about the schedule. The schedule begins, uh, next Friday with a special episode of the patch and switch program. And then we will be taking, uh, our holidays off and taking a break until January the 8th which will be back for the start of another calendar year uh, yes. of, of the of, of the big program. Remember, um, the affiliate status and everything coming up uh, and, and, and YouTube will get all, all of that news and everything. So please join us next week. Uh, support the Festive Tech Calendar and the community with all of the things that they have got going there. Now let's say adieu or goodbye uh, to our friends Absa Blog and Lutley, another random IT guy, Aspen Forrester, A10, AZ Cloud, Elf, Chaz Rich, Command Root, Def Con Veteran, Fair Brit, uh, the Ballast of Tempers Down in the PDX, uh, FTO Payer, uh, you'll have this too. Uh, I am here in Ventkin. Good to see you, Jan. Good to see you, uh, K. McFerrin, Kowski, KT Baker, Scott. Thanks for participating. Shade is the you as well. SharePoint, Madam, thank you for giving all the crap to Jay Shock. We love that. Soren, nice. uh, Tama Toms, VNK Burger Pro, the MVP, William 84. Until next time, have a weekend, everybody. We'll see you. Special show next week. Bye.